Good morning today. Today, today, today. Today we're going to focus on a unit of energy called the kilowatt hour. So let's commence operations. What is the kilowatt hour? Well, it's a measure of energy since the kilowatt is a unit for power and hour is a unit of time. So we have the formula energy equals power multiplied by time. A little later on, we'll calculate how many joules are in a kilowatt hour. The kilowatt hour is used to measure the amount of energy consumed by homes. And cost of electricity is typically around 20 cents per kilowatt hour, but that depends on what part of the world you live in. So to give you an idea of how big a kilowatt hour is, here are some common appliances or devices used in homes. An air conditioning unit has a power rating of 3 kilowatts. Gaming systems only 0.2 kilowatts and LED lights can be as low as 0.008 kilowatts. Now let's say you use these devices for 4 hours per day. In one day the AC unit will have used 12 kilowatt hours, the gaming system only 0.8 kilowatt hours, and LED lights tiny, only 0.032 kilowatt hours. Let's look at a typical question. A gaming system is used for 45 minutes per day during 30 days. The average power to operate the gaming system is 155 watts. Calculate A power in kilowatts, b, total time over 30 days that the gaming system was used in hours, c, total energy used by the gaming system over 30 days in kilowatt hours, and finally, d, the cost to operate the gaming system if the rate is 25 cents per kilowatt hour. Starting with a, to convert a watt into kilowatt, it's the exact same conversion as you would convert a meter into a kilometer. You divide by a thousand. So the result is 0 0.1555 kilowatts. Total time over 30 days. Well, we're using 45 minutes per day. And that's over the course of 30 days. So when you multiply those numbers, that's 1,350 minutes. However, ultimately, we need our unit of time in hours. We divide by 60, that's 22.5 hours. C, the total energy used by the gaming system over 30 days in kilowatt hours. Well, we take our kilowatts, which we got from part A, our time, which we got from part B, we multiply the two and we get this answer here, 3.4875 kilowatt hours. And finally D, the cost to operate the gaming system if the rate is 20 cents per kilowatt hour. And so we take those two numbers, we multiply them. Why are we multiplying? Well, notice by multiplying these numbers, the units terminate and we're left with 69 decimal, I think seven or eight, cents, but that rounds up to 70 cents. So how many joules is a kilowatt hour? Let's do this unit conversion. And by the end of this unit conversion, you'll understand why the electricity companies charge in kilowatt hours and not in joules. So one kilowatt hour, let's start off. A kilo means a thousand. So a kilowatt hour is the same as a thousand watt hours. But what is a watt? If you recall, a watt is a joule per second. So one kilowatt hour is a thousand joules per second multiplied by an hour. What is an hour? Well, an hour is 3,600 seconds. Why are we multiplying? Notice what happens to the units. The units terminate. And what are we left with? We're left with one kilowatt hour is the same as, it's equivalent to 3,600,000 joules. 
So the companies that charge for electricity charge by the kilowatt hour. It's an easier number for a customer to understand because typically a home would use between 20 and 30 kilowatt hours per day. If you multiply this by 20, this would be over 72 million joules. And the number would be so large that customers, it may be difficult for them to contemplate how many joules they're using when the number is so large. A kilowatt hour is a more convenient unit and it's an easier number for people to interpret.